when you apply to come to the uk to study a master's degree program or a phd you can actually come with your family and they can be in the uk as long as you're in the uk hey guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while so i had to move from my friend's house to my own apartment and I needed time to settle in plus i had crazy deadlines in school to meet up with but i'm here now so i said i was going to talk about how you can move to the uk with your dependents while you're studying on a on a uk study visa so that's practically what this video is about you can decide to apply for your dependents alongside your own application or you can decide to apply for them after you have traveled to the uk whichever one you choose both of them are okay it just depends on your pocket in my previous video, I already talked about what you need as a student, like the documents, how to get a visa. I already talked about it in about three videos, so I'm just going to drop the link um, above and the link will also be below. Or you could just go to my page and check out all my other videos. So I've already talked about in details how you can actually um, come to the UK as a student, um, the documents and everything that you need. So if your university is outside London, apart from this 9,207 that you, the main applicant, who is also the student, you need, your dependents, each of them also need to have £680 per month for at least nine months. So that would be £6,120. That is what each of your dependents need. So if you're coming with your husband or your wife and number of children, each person needs to have this amount. And if your university is inside London, apart from the 1335 pounds for nine months that you need to have which would result to 12,006 pounds your dependents need to have 845 pounds per month for at least nine months which is 7,605 pounds apart from your own cost of living each of your dependents need to have this so if you guys are applying together that's applying at the same time you can decide to put all the money together that's the cost of living for all your dependents and your own cost of living and your fees balance you can have all this in one bank account or maybe two bank accounts whichever one is okay with you the main applicant can decide to have his or her own money in her own account and then the dependents have theirs in the account that's if the husband is the main applicant he can have his own money in his account and if the wife is independent she can have all the money that's her own um, cost of living and all the children's cost of living in her account or you guys can have it in one account anyone you choose is totally fine you're not going to be denied a visa because you use separate accounts or because you use one account it does not matter so that's the amount of money you need to show the uk government that you have apart from your cost of living the other money you would need is your visa fee and your IHS fee. So visa fee is um, £348 if you're applying from outside the UK and your IHS fee depends on the duration of your course of study, like I already stated. So if your course of study is one year, it's about £705. If it's 18 months, two years, there's going to be a link below. You can calculate how much it would cost. So the IHS you pay for yourself would usually be the same amount you pay for your dependents. So if you have three dependents and your course duration is one year you're going to pay 705 pounds times four that's you pay for yourself your partner and your children that if you have two children if you have only if you have only one dependent who happens to be your partner you just only pay for yourself and your partner and visa fee and ihs fee is the same for um both the main applicant and the dependent so um apart from this you need to prove your relationship to the main applicant so if um you're the wife or the husband you just need to provide your um marriage certificate so some people go as far as putting wedding pictures just to buttress the fact that yeah they are really married it's not a fake marriage and stuff and for your children you need to provide their birth certificate showing your name as the mother and your partner's name as the father so your i heard you also need a consent letter but i haven't seen this on the uk government site i also don't have any children so i really can't speak about this but for some people that i know who have applied with their children they said they had to upload a consent letter in their children's application the, that's pretty much all the documents you need apart from your own documents you need to fill out new applications for each dependent for you're going to link all the applications so after a few years out there um, and you make your payment pay for your visa and everything there's going to be a gwf number so when your dependents are filling their own application 
they are going to ask for that number so they just need to put in that number so that number is what links them to your application and then they would maybe ask for your information on their own application so just make sure that everything matches there is no discrepancies like just make sure that everything is okay go through your documents over and over again don't upload a birth certificate for your children that shows that the father's name is adam smith and then when your husband is applying he applies with maybe his other name ob smith stuff like that so just make sure everything is in order and you're on your way to getting your visa and coming with your family so that's pretty much it very easy step to come to the uk with your families and the important information i wanted to give is that the uk government has announced the post-study work visa so after you're studying in the uk you can actually apply for the two years post-study work visa for those on master's level and if you were on phd level it's three years so if you come to the uk with your family as you apply um their visa expires the same day your visa expires as you apply for the post-study work visa they can also apply as your dependent they are going to be eligible to stay in the uk as long as you are eligible to stay in the uk so guys this is a really really good offer so hit me with questions anything you don't understand ask me i'm just going to reply as much as i can as fast as i can but sometimes school work gets really really um tough and difficult so i just zoom out but it's a really good time to come to the uk with your family so another thing is if you guys don't travel together your dependents need to arrive the uk before your visa expires because if they are not in the UK doing your studies, they cannot be in the UK as your dependents when you apply for your post-study work visa. I hope this is really helpful to somebody. Um, so refer to my previous videos for um, information on how you can apply as the main applicant, everything you need. I've put out three, I put out three really, really detailed videos. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Let's grow this ministry as much as <laughs> we can um share with share with somebody trying to come to the uk with their family bye guys thank you guys for watching and until we meet again